Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today, guys, we have got episode number seven of my Building a Nation Challenge series, where I am managing not just the Mumbai City FC, but also the Indian national team as well, because one team is not hard enough, so gotta make it two teams. So that is the challenge we have set ourselves in this series to make both of those teams the best in the world. And so in today's episode, we have got not one, but two games for you. We are playing both of our games in the month of February as we are at home versus Jan Shippur, and then we are away against Odisha. Two wins would be very, very nice. And they are against the two teams immediately behind us. So if we can win, not only should we get into the top half of the league, but also just create a little bit of a gap between us and the teams below us in the relegation dogfight. So that would be very, very nice. And we are carrying straight on from the last video. If you didn't see it, we played two games in that. We had a nil-nil game versus Kolkata. And then we went all the way to penalties against Guwahati in the Hero Super Cup. And so let's go and have a look at the team for today's game. It's a very tired team we've got. Everybody is still a little bit tired after the game in midweek that, like I said, did go all the way to penalties. And so the team is looking like this. We have got Subrata Paul in goal. Chakraborty is at right back, despite only being 79% fit. We've got Bose on the left, who is 84% fit. And then in the middle, Jingen and Gurdjitz are both 80% fit. So, very, very tired team there. In the middle, we've got Fernandez, Mercado and Borges. They look the fittest part of the team. Borges is on 91% fitness. Mercado, 93. Fernandez, 95. So, hopefully our midfield will do most of the work for the team. And then on the left wing, we've got Dax Murphy at 80% fitness. DiMaggio Wright Phillips at 78% fitness. And we've got Nemecha up front. Hopefully he can do something for us today. He is quite fit as well, 92%. And so that is the team for today's game. I'm feeling rather nervous now that I know that everybody's a little bit tired. But let's get into the match uh, prediction. Where is it? There it is. We are the favourites. 4-5 to five to win it. Having won three of our last five. Jams report a 3-1. to one. They have won one. I see they've won two of their last five. But they've lost three in the middle of those two games. So hopefully we can... Get a bit of advantage from their poor form. And now let's go and get into the game. Here we are in the dressing room. And as ever, my assistant does absolutely nothing. No opposition instructions. What a soccer. And now let's go assertive. Uh, Jam Shippour have lost four of their last five. Ooh, no real reaction there. I have faith. Come on. Nope, these lads do not pay attention to me. Only the one person with any kind of reaction. And how do you predict a game like this where half your team is pretty much on their deathbed by the look of it? I'm going to go 1-0 win to us. Come on, Mumbai. First highlight of the game, 90 seconds in, and it's Jamshadpour getting the ball off our long pass. Jairu coming forward, and he gets past Fernandez. there, plays it inside. Goes to Monroy, wide, back to Jairu. And now, can we get this ball back, please? Nope. Instead, it goes to Samad. Monroy again in the middle. Pity with the ball to Castell. 
And he's played it through. That's a very good ball back there to Castell. But thankfully, his shot goes wide. But immediately following that, we've got the goal kick. And we've given it away again. That is poor. Monroy to Jairu. Come on, let's win this ball back. Come on, let's win it back. Nope. Jairu with a cross in. Castell with a header. It's hit the bar. And we have managed to clear that football. But thankfully, Castell was offside anyhow. Just about five minutes till half time. We've got a free kick. It's gone to Nemecha. And that was very, very poor there. Very easy for Gomez to collect. And that is the half time whistle. Not too many highlights in that first half. As you might expect from our team being so tired. But the match stats are looking very, very good for us. 13 shots we've had. Two there, three. Six on target. Two there, none. And we've had one clear-cut chance apiece. They've had a little bit more of the possession. But it looks like we are the better team at the minute. So let me just go team talk. And then let me go assertive. Uh, it's time for everyone to dig in and give everything you've got left. No reaction. These lads are even too tired just to be paying attention to me. Why are they playing a game of football? Here we go. A few more reactions now. And so, still going with the same prediction. 1-0 us. Come on, we can win this. No highlights as of yet in the second half. So I'm just looking to see what changes I could possibly make. Maybe bring on Rafiq, but he's more of a central midfielder. That's the one position where we're looking strong. I think we do need to get DiMaggio off. How bad is Mohamed's injury? Uh, out for 5 to 11 days. Can't really, really be putting him on. Okay, let's go Marriott in place of White Phillips. And let's go a little summit like that. And then let's just go longer passing. Let's go shoot on sight. And fairly narrow or standard, whatever that is. And then go higher line of engagement. And hopefully... We can win the game from here. 20 minutes left to go. Come on, Marriott. Be the hero we need you to be. Finally, a highlight in this second half. Five minutes left in the game. The ball goes all the way back to Jingen. And he plays it out wide. And Chakraborty with a long shot. And that has gone over the bar. Oh, Two and a half minutes left. We are now in injury time. As now we have the ball. Chakraborty plays it forward. And it gets headed away. And it's the men in red with the ball. Pereira with it. Short to his teammate. And then forward to Acosta on the halfway line. To Pity. Back to Samad. And they played it through. And oh no. Oh they're not going to win it right at the end. No they're not. Thankfully Paul save does find a teammate and he manages to clear it but we have gone very attacking and that may have been a mistake Acosta with the free kick here on the left hand side taking his time taking it you would think he might want to get it in quick try and win it but no Acosta with the cross finally we get it away and now Fernandez goes long and to absolutely nobody and you would think that will be the end of the game. And that ends a dreadful game of football. Nil-nil, it's finished. We really should have won it. If we was fit, I think we would have done. 16 shots, 2 there, 6. 6 on target, 2 there, 3. 1 clear-cut chance, 2 there, 2. And they had 55% of the ball compared to our 45 and so, you know what, well, I'm not going to be too harsh on the lads. I'm going to go, you are unlucky. A few of them are motivated. And, oh, I'm not going to say anything else because that's only going to upset people. I have just said I'm happy with your defensive performance, but they're not happy. And so, we're going to leave it there for the second. I'll be back with you guys in a minute for the second game in today's episode.
Alright guys, we're back for this second game in this episode as we take on Odisha away from home and just the two changes in personnel. Felix Nemecha has dropped down into the centre of midfield to replace Mercado and our star striker on loan from Manchester City, Mohamed, has gone up top. So hopefully, with the team being a lot fitter now, we should have a better game than what we did have in that first episode. So let's get into the match prediction. The bookmakers have us as the favourites. We're 5-4 to four to win it. Odisha are 7-4. Our recent form has been decent. We haven't lost in our last five. Odisha have lost two, won one and drawn two of their last five. A win today could take us as high as sixth in the league. So that would be very nice. Right on that line of the top half that we need to be achieving by the end of the season. So let's go and get into the game. Here we are in the dressing room. And now what are we going to say to the lads? Uh, we're fourth in the form standings. Not any real reaction there. And still, they still don't respect me, do they, these boys? But thankfully, there's a couple bit of, couple bit of better reactions there. And yep, prediction time. 2-0 us. 2-0 us. We're looking fit. I think we're still going to be confident. So, come on, Mumbai. Eight minutes into the game, it's us with the first highlight. Chakraborty with a free kick. And we've won a penalty from it. Daxina Murphy fouled there. And who's it stepping up to take it? It is Gurdjic to take it. Puts the ball down. Runs up. Hits it. And it's in the back of the net. And that is a very nice start to this game of football. Gurdjieff with only his second of the season, giving us a very early lead. Can we maybe go on and make a party out of this and get three or four now? That would be beautiful. 15 minutes gone now. Bose with another free kick. Right, Phillips with a header and that's gone over the bar. Almost 20 minutes gone now. Wright Phillips with the corner. It gets crossed in. Goes away. Falls back into the box. But their keeper collects it there. Well, that's your lot for the first half. Again, not that many highlights. But we are dominating this game of football. 11 shots to their 2. 5 on target to their none. 57% of the ball. Let's go and get into the dressing room. And you know what? I'm going to try something a little bit cheeky. I'm going to go on far from pleased because we're only 1-0 up. See what kind of reaction that gets. Fairly good. I'm kind of happy with that. Mohamed's a little bit demotivated. And so let's go. There's a lot more to come from you. No real change in that. But please, a few more goals in this second half would be very, very nice. Okay, straight from the kickoff, Odisha have got the ball back off us and they've had a shot, but thankfully our keepers managed to save it. 10 minutes into the second half, Mohamed with a free kick and Jingen with a header, and that one goes over the net. Come on, one more goal is all I want just to absolutely wrap this game up. But now Fernandez with the ball off the goal kick for Odisha, and they're in the box, and that's a great tackle that knows to give away a penalty. Oh my days, as if we didn't have enough penalty drama in the last episode, we've got more now. Who's it stepping up to take it? Aridan with the ball, runs up, it's and it's wide, yes! We are still in the lead. Oh, what an awful penalty that was. Okay, just about 20 minutes left, just the two changes been made. Adam Marriott has come on for Mohamed, who has had a very quiet game. And Felix Nemecha has come off for Paolo Mercado. One more goal. That's all I want. Come on, FM Gods. 
Oh, 15 seconds left in the game. I was just expecting to be doing my full-time wrap-up, but Odisha have the ball. Jerry Mauler plays it out wide to Das, and Fernandez is in the box. No! Oh, it's offside. Oh, it's offside. Thank God for that. What an end of the game that would have been. But thankfully, Fernandez has not stolen a point from us. And now, surely, this is going to be the last kick. And is it not? Why is this game still going on? Referee, do you not want us to win? Come on. Go army now with the ball. He's crossed it in again. Jingen heads away. Gurdjieff volleys it out. And thankfully, I think he's blown his whistle. I think yeah, this is just a highlight, just to show that Fernandez was offside. Weird way to end the game. But we've won the game of football. We've won it 1 0. 17 shots, 2 Odisha's 9. 7 on target, 2 their 3. They had 3 clear cut chances though. So maybe they should have got a point. And we had 55% of the ball. Let's go, dressing room. Let's go, team talk. Let's go. Let's go passionate. Very nice victory. And yep, everybody's delighted. Everybody's happy. And so let's go and have a look and see how the league table's looking and where we're going to come back for the next episode. The league table is looking like this. We're still in eighth, but we're level on points with Guati ahead of us and only two behind Goa and only three behind Mo and Bagu. I think third is a little bit out of the question now, but fourth is definitely on. I think we can still get fourth this season, which wouldn't be too bad a year. And so let's see, who have we got next? Next we've got top of the table, Bengalaru and Kerala Blasters in fourth. And so, you know what? Those are two games we're going to come back for. I think that's what we'll do. We'll come back for those two. And then I know we've got an India game after the Kerala one. I think that's on the 22nd. And then schedule... Do, 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 yeah, 28th for the 3rd. Yep, so what we'll do is we'll do Bengaluru and Kerala. And then we'll do the India game and Chennai. And then we'll skip past the East Bengal one. And we'll do Goa and Guwati as end of season special. So that's the next, what, one, two, three episodes all planned out there. So guys, if you've enjoyed that video, pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more FM20 content, more Pro Evo content. If you haven't seen the Pro Evo video I released earlier today, go and check it out now. Double dose of bad jokes today. And if you're new, please do subscribe. I'm on 584 subscribers at the minute. I would love to hit 600 by the end of the month. So if we could achieve that, that would be phenomenal. Follow me on Twitter, at Bad Jokes Gaming. And check out the Passion for FM Discord, Twitter, website, Facebook, all that good stuff. And check out all the other Passion for FM YouTubers and everyone else down below. And yep, guys, that is it for me from today. I'll be back with you tomorrow for the start of Season 6 in the Walks to Prem save. We're in the National League in that save, so do not miss that video tomorrow. I shall see you then. Bye.